put your legs back up here if you want to. Huh? Yes, 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 yes. Now, what do you have? What do you have? Uh, um, what are you? Uh, uh, Down syndrome. Down syndrome. Uh, uh, 27 Down syndrome. 27 what? 27 chromosomes. 47. 47 chromosomes. Who, who's your favorite Down syndrome? Down syndrome. Paulo Down syndrome. Paulo's Down syndrome. Paulo's Down syndrome. Godbrother. 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 Yes. Yes. Are you going anyplace else on vacation? Yeah, vacation in Florida. You're going to go to Florida? Florida, well, this is the Yes, yes. Yeah? Yes. What do you do in Florida? Well, I'm going to give me the hot tubs, uh, laying in the sink, uh, sink castles, uh, I to eat. Go out to eat? Go out to eat, whatever. Go to church or pray. Go to church. Now, there's three things he brings with him when he comes to our house. And he's been coming to our house on the weekends for probably the last 16 years, I guess. But he brings a duffel bag with his clothes, several changes of clothes. He brings his uh, his uh, shaving equipment, as he calls it. And he brings his office works. After, I think, Moggy had babysat for us and we kind of started this, Sean kind of stayed with us. So in the beginning, you know, Moggy said, you don't have to do it again just because Sean is saying do it again. But it just evolved into a routine. Mm -hmm. You ready to go? You ready to go? I missed you. 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 Uh, no, no, we're not going to. Part of, part of Sean and Tom's relationship is this teasing, bantering, and if you didn't know how much they love each other, sometimes you would think they hate each other. No, no, no. Red Lobster. We have to. No, we're not going to Red Lobster. Tom and I start the morning every morning doing that little prayer ritual. Sometimes he'll take the book and he'll put it like right here or he'll adjust it, you know, but he, he makes that adjustment and then he can see and he can read. He can read the words. But he's so into the moment where the rest of us have all the worries and the, you know, the worldly things that we carry with us on our shoulder. When Sean is there, that's where he is. When he's saying the rosary, that's where he is. In the morning when he says prayers with us and he's reading his book, he's not worried about what he's going to do five minutes from now or ten minutes from now. It's about what he's doing at the moment. It's a thing all of us want. We just want to be um, accepted and loved and just the way we are. That's the important thing, just the way we are. You know, there isn't any qualification. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> All right, now that's unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I don't know what that was, but it's scary. You have to know it and experience it to understand that what they bring to the world, it's not the same, but it's as important and as great a blessing I mean, obviously, God doesn't make a junk, and so there has to be a gift hidden in this. You just might have to look for it with different eyes. One more. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Looking from the outside, people assume that we are doing such a good thing. You know, they look at us and they say, Megan and Sarah and Will are also good with Sean, and Amy and Tom always take Sean, and you know, gosh, that's so good. And it's like, I, I just want to, you know, I just want to shout out from the inside and say, you do not understand. Sean has blessed us a hundredfold. I mean, my kids are better people because of Sean. So, you know, and I, I don't mean to get tearful, but he has blessed my whole family. Not just my kids, but my brothers. Um, they just love Sean. 
So Thanksgiving Day, kind of the way that we have done it, we either gather at our house or we gather at the Ronnie's, and we kind of move back and forth, and this year it was at our house. One of the things he likes to think about being is a chef, and sometimes when Tom will call him a hoghead, that's kind of a... A funny nickname, and he'll say, "Don't call me a hoghead. That's ugly." He'll and he'll, well, 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 who are you? And he'll say, "Chef Sean, please." Shawnee, give him a kiss. Give him a kiss, Sean. Who wiped your mouth? My dad did. Yeah, he 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 did. After Halloween, he starts planning the Thanksgiving meal, and he says it's going to have corn and green beans and potatoes and turkey and stuffing and you know pumpkin pie and all this. And he starts naming the menu. So Sarah decided this year she was going to make these little mini pies. And we're always looking for when we're cooking. There are parts of cooking that I feel comfortable with him helping me to do. Usually, it's stirring something. We look for things that he would be able to do. I put the napkins on, and then I say, "Sean, you go put the forks on all the napkins." And then I'll I'll put the knives on, and then I say, "Sean, you go put the spoons by the knives." But he just has a way of loving you. You know the way everybody wants to be loved, without conditions. Without, you don't have to look a certain way. You don't have to be smart. You don't have to be rich. You don't. Sean, come in the middle of the circle. Come here and stand by. Get over here, Mom. In the silence of our hearts, let each of us give thanks for all the many gifts that are ours. You know, when Sean comes with you, he brings an innocence that the rest of us lose. You know, that we, because we see the world with a mind that's more developed than Sean's, we're always carrying that with us. That's part of our perspective. But Sean sees everybody and every situation that he's in as, you know how you've always been told to live in the moment? That's what Sean does. Sean, do you want to say the rosary? Yes, yes. He always says, yes, yes. Sean, do you want to go to church? Yes, yes. And then he'll start saying, Nick and Katie, and he'll go through. In his mind, he just includes everybody. And he brings that vision that we all need to be able to have more of. You hungry? Did you hear me talking about you? I love you. You love me so much. I love you. You want to go get lunch? Come on. Yes. Let's go. What kind of games do we play at John and Jennifer's? We play dominoes. Dominoes, sometimes. Yeah. What about categories? Yeah, I like to drink beer in the hot tub. Yeah, you like to drink beer in the hot tub, too. Yeah. At, in, in Florida, don't you? Yeah, a lot of